Want to hear a scary story? Where'd that come from? Sure, whatever. I was at a laundromat a little while back, and as anyone would, I put my clothes in the dryer. When there was about five or so minutes left, my cell rang and I went outside to talk. And? After ten minutes, I hung up and went back inside. <gasps> the dryer was still going. And the time left? Thirty. Minutes. Whoa, that is freaky. Did you extend the time or something? Of course not. Why would I do that? Yeah, no good dryer shrank my favorite shirt because of that. The thing got all tight. Still wore it, though. You still wore it? Didn't think this story could get scarier, but... Oh, good. Time to go.
Hey. Yo. Hi. Hi. Takasan, thank you. Thank you so much for coming to help. Putting yourself on the line to save me. I owe you my life. Nah, don't mention it. I couldn't abandon my bro, could I? Besides, I didn't do anything. Kasuga-san's the one who helped you. It's him you should be thanking. Kasuga-san, thank you very much. But why do all this for someone you've never met? Who knows? Maybe I just wanted to show off in front of the kid who reminded me of my old self. Couldn't really tell you. Sorry. I guess we weren't much help. To hell with that! We made it back in one piece, that's what matters. You mean barely in one piece? You look like shit, man. Yeah, and Kasuga-san looks like a bomb went off in his face. Appreciate you stepping in back there. Yo, I always look like this. Uh, wait, are you screwing with me? <laughs> Wasn't it obvious? <laughs> 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 Almost forgot. There's something I want to tell you guys. And what's that? It's in regard to our new friend Ichiban here. I'm thinking about making him the honorary president of the Purple Kaisers. Ooh, neat. Huh? Yeah! yeah! <laughs> no, hold up a sec. I never said I'd... Just because you'll be our honorary president doesn't mean we expect you to stick around. It's just that we're all here now, thanks to you. So we wanted to have something to remember you by. Guess that's a bit much, huh? Nah, that's cool with me. Oh, and you're more than welcome to go riding with us anytime. We'll even have a bike ready for you. You know, I think I'll pass. Uh, okay. 
But I'm good with being an honorary president, so long as it's only a title. Kasuga-san. All right, then. It's settled. Our honorary president is the great Kasuga-san. Don't worry. You can leave the presidential duties to me. Yeah! <laughs> There's no way we could ever repay you, but please, accept this as a way of showing our gratitude. You don't have to repay me. I'm the one who stuck his nose into your business. <laughs> Modest till the end. I guess that's a sign of true strength, huh? Very well, then. I'll follow you until I draw my last breath, Kasuga-san! Huh? Call me up anytime you need something. We'll come riding in no matter where or when. It's our duty to protect our honorary president. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll be counting on you when that time comes. Leave it to us. Junpei, try not to rear in any more Yakuza from now on, all right? I won't! I'll be more careful! Well, we should get going then. Kasuga-san, you take care. Yeah. Take care, Mr. President. Putting your life on the line for your brother, huh? Maybe now I can say I'm just like the boss. Nah. <sighs> I still got a ways to go. Hey, still at it, huh? Oh, Kasuga-san, let me just thank you again for last time. Everybody loved Catherine Chan's show. Did they? Sounds like it all worked out then. Who's the star today? Don't tell me it's the bear. Oh no, as you can see, today we've got Charlotte Chan ready to go. Charlotte Chan the tiger. Wow, that's a pretty sweet looking tiger. Isn't she? Her fur is perfectly soft to the touch, too. Why don't you introduce yourself? Just stretch your hand out and she'll give you a shake. It's so cute. Oh, and there's nothing to worry about. She wouldn't hurt a fly. I've handled her training personally ever since she was a cop. I have nothing but confidence in her. Uh, sounds like we'll get along just fine then. Hmm? Oh, hey, little guy. Are you hungry? Well, today's your lucky day. So happens I have some food on hand for just the occasion. Here you go. Eat up. <laughs> you two are practically old friends. You think so? <laughs> well, when you've looked after animals as long as I have, this kind of thing becomes second nature. I dare say talking to animals is easier than learning a second language. <laughs> hmm? You want some more? Now, now, you've had enough to eat already. You can have more tomorrow. You might think it's strange, but everything from stray cats to birds seem to be drawn to me. I don't know what you'd call that, but it feels like I must have some kind of animal aura. Uh-huh. 
And, uh, that goes for Charlotte John, too, right? Most definitely. She's wild by nature, but I think she's really drawn to me. Even if it means climbing out of her cage? Of course not. I never let her outside. She's a curious sort, but the outside world would be much too stimulating for her, so she usually lives in her enclosure. Hey now, I said no more food for today. You'll get more tomorrow. Ah! Charlotte John's out of her cage! Charlotte John, be a good girl and get back in your cage! Hey, I thought you said you two understood each other! She seems pretty pissed off to me! Kazuka san, please help me get Charlotte John back in her cage! This shit again? That's a freaking tiger! What happened to all that second nature crap? Now be a pretty damn good time to use it! I may have over-exaggerated a bit. Frankly, I have a hard enough time talking to people. I mean, what are you taking for, some modern-day king of the jungle? I'm starting to think you're some kind of modern-day idiot, Yosin Asan! You'll have to prove you're superior to her, just like you did the bear. <sighs> I promise I'll pay! Do you know how much trouble we'd be in if she reached the city? Sure, but still... <laughs> Damn it! As if the bear wasn't enough! I'll show you how it's done. Well... I got this! Yeah? Let's see. Yeah. Don't move. Are you done with all the fun and games yet? Yeah. Check this out! <laughs> you can win! Mercy now. Huh. Are you done with all the fun and games Watch yet? this. You're ready now. You. Thank you. Let's get it done. Oh, yeah. Games 
mejor. All right, Charlotte Sean. Back to your cage now. <sighs> Amazing. Charlotte John recognizes you as the Alpha Tiger, I think. She's usually pretty shy around other people, so she doesn't attach herself to anyone else but me. This is amazing, Kasagasan. Well, she didn't seem all that attached to you a little bit ago. Either way, I'm glad we didn't cause a scene. This is to show my appreciation. Please, take it. Look, this better be the last time anything escapes from your little zoo. Don't worry. I'll be keeping a close eye on the cages from now on. Yeah, that'd be wise. By the way, Charlotte Chan's show will be starting very soon. Would you like to stay and watch? I can get you a seat. No, I think I'm good. Nothing's gonna compare to going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a tiger for a while. Understandably so. Well, feel free to stop by anytime. We'll have a new animal joining our menagerie in the near future. I'm gonna ask just to be safe, but this one won't be escaping anytime soon, will it? Oh, rest assured, this one is the wisest of them all, so that's completely out of the question. Right. Okay, well, I'm gonna take off. Be more careful from now on. Of course. Thank you once again, Kaskasan. You gotta be shitting me. First a bear, then a tiger. And apparently he's got a new animal joining the show. I should check it out when I'm feeling up for it. So itchy.
Senpai, you seen that circus yet? The one over there! Yeah, I saw it. I went in expecting nothing, but it was actually pretty entertaining. Always wanted to see a tiger ride a ball like that. Only thing I didn't really care for was the ringmaster. Tiger completely ignored him. Yasuda yeah, so Circus Troop sounds like it's getting pretty popular. I can't really say the same for Yasuda, though. Well, it was the same with the bear. I want to see it at least one more time before they close up. I'm going on break. For the thousandth time, new guy! Shut off the equipment before leaving the premises! It's fine, I'll be right back. Not like we get much break time anyway. New guy needs to learn some manners. Well, no surprise there. What do you say we go on break too? I'm starving. Same. Yeah, let's go get some katsudan. So the circus is ending soon, huh? Maybe I should stop by. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Go. Oh. 
I swear she came this way. The hell is she? There she is! Clarachan, come back! <laughs> oh shit. Don't tell me. See now. You think you can win? Come Please, on. Are you done with all the funny like games yet? A little first aid. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> weak. I'll show you a fight. Take this. Be still, you? Just gonna stand there. Are you done with all the funny games Let's yet? Let's get it done. You want to fight? Come on! Who wants to go? That's great, pal! Yeah? I got this! Out of my way! Bring it on. Yeah. Now we're talking. Hmm. Just gonna stand there? Are you done with all the fun and games yet? Over here! Who wants to go? Let's go! You're in for it now. Who think you can win? Are you done with all the fun and games yet? You're in it now! Eyes on me. Who wants to go? Watch me. Weak. Don't move. That's picking time! Games yet. Check this out! Get serious! Who wants to go? Right. Ah. I can't! Ugh, man. I'm over here! Let's go! Watch 
Finally stopped. Yasuna san, where's Clara? Uh, I have her. She seems rather burnt out, but at least she's safe. Oh, good. Still, what a freaking mess. How the hell we get out of this one? Hey, did you see that? <laughs> that was one heck of a performance. <gasps> Is this part of the circus? Gotta be. Kerm Boy versus the Almighty Digger Chimp. Oh, now that's entertainment. I was on the edge of my seat. Ooh, and how about that fire? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you've enjoyed this act. Please enjoy the rest of the show as we present to you another act over on that. Stuffed, man. Well, back to the old grind. Huh? You guy! Thank you very much for today, Kasuga-san. Please accept this as one last token of my appreciation. I really hope this is the last time. I seriously thought that chimp was gonna kill me. Indeed. I truly can't thank you enough, Kasuga-san. Oh, and this isn't just for all the times you've helped me. Hmm? It's also for showing me a whole new side of excitement from the audience. I've been doing this circus for a long time now. Animals riding balls, jumping through hoops, things that you can see at any circus, really. I wasn't able to break this circus away from what's considered old hat. Sure, there were plenty of smiles in the crowd, but was there anything more? Yasuda-san. Next thing you know, we've got a fierce battle between man and bear, then man and tiger, and finally, man and excavator driving chimp! It was these spectacles that kept the crowd on the edge of their seats, their eyes glued to the performance. The thrill, the surprise, the excitement, the joy, all combined to form some truly immersive experiences. I want to continue providing audiences with more fantastic outings like those. <laughs> that right. And with that, I have just one last final request. Would you do me the honor of joining our circus? 
Yeah? Uh, me? Yes. You and my precious animals would make the ultimate team. I'm confident that we could even become Japan's number one circus. Well, I... Uh, I'll do my best to get us an excavator of our own. I'll take out a loan. Or would you prefer a dump truck? I'll get a tank for all I care. I ain't joining the circus. Ah, oh, don't be like that. We could be the most famous circus in the world with a troop like ours. <laughs> Look, I'll be real with you. No more animals! Wait, don't go! Honestly, Ayami-kun, 
You can't do anything without your senpai. What kind of tour guide goes the wrong way? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hmm? What's going on over there? I don't know if you're nervous or what, but trouble our customers like that again and you're fired! This next one is your last chance. Make sure you know your stuff! Uh, if I get fired in front of my parents, my life will be totally ruined. Hey, I noticed you were pretty down over here. You alright? Huh? That guy was yelling at you pretty loud, so I got kind of worried. Oh, you saw me get scolded by my boss, huh? Oh, how embarrassing. And he said something about you being a guide? Yes, I'm a tour guide with Chinatown Tours. I just recently moved to the city, but I have severe performance anxiety, and, well, I'm always messing up. All the other new girls are doing really well while I'm out here making a total fool of myself. My senpai's usually around to help me, but she was out sick today. I tried doing it by myself, but it was a total disaster. Oh, so that's why your boss was yelling at you. Yes. And if I mess up again, I might lose my job. That's rough. And that's not the only thing. My parents are going to be at my next one. They wanted to see me shine, so they flew all the way out here. And you don't want to look bad in front of your parents. That definitely adds some pressure. That's why I have to do well on this next one. But I don't have a lot of time. It's just gonna be another train wreck without my senpai's help. What should I do? Yeah, that's a real drag. There's gotta be something you can do. I know this is sudden, but... I have something I need to ask you. What's that? Would you be willing to help me in my next Chinatown tour? Uh, me? I know I'm being unreasonable, but do you think you could? Just having someone around will be a big help. You're asking me for help like I'm some kind of Chinatown expert. I'm kind of not. I'll be informing everyone about each stop we visit on the tour. I just need you to chime in any time I get nervous and clam up. Uh... You're the only person I can turn to at this point. Won't you please help? And of course, I'll make sure you're rewarded too. All right, fine. I'll sure as hell try. Oh, thank you, mister. I know we've only just met, but I'm incredibly grateful for how kind you've been. My name is Ayami Ishida. Nice to meet you, Ayami. I'm Kasuga. Kasuga-san. Pleased to meet you. Okay, let me fill you in on the places we'll be visiting. I'll simulate the tour with these pictures, so let me know if you have any questions. Yeah, sure thing. Thank you again. Okay, first, take a look at this picture. This here is the entrance to Chinatown. This magnificent gate is called the Pai Fong, and it's a staple of traditional Chinese architecture. Pai Fong, huh? That's a first for me. It's said that a red dragon lies within the Pai Fong, acting as its guardian. It watches over Chinatown from the gate, ensuring there's peace in the community. A red dragon, huh? That's perfect for Chinatown. Chinatowns are often associated with the color red, too. Okay, next I'll explain the stalls that line the street. Even in Chinatown, the street is lined with many well-known stores. And in our tour, we'll be going to the meat bun shop with the blue sign. They're known for their ultra-packed super bun. Very fancy. The meat bun is so incredibly large, it's nearly the same size as a soccer ball. You should give it a try sometime, Kasuga-san. Okay, on to the next place. This will be the final stop on the tour. The Swine Latong Statue. It's said to be the god that presides over all the food in Chinatown. Swine Latong? It's called Swine Latong because it's a play on both Swan Latong, Chinese hot and sour soup, and the pork often used in the recipe. Wow, that's, uh, unique. There's a very interesting legend regarding this adorable Swine Latong. 
rub the swine latong's right ear four times before you leave Chinatown, and you'll encounter delicious food wherever you go. Rub its right ear four times. Am I supposed to be taking notes? The paint is starting to chip on its right ear, so use that to help you remember. Okay, that covers it. Think you'll be okay, Kasuka-san? This is tough. But it sounds like you've got it all down, Ayami. Mm, well, when is the real thing? I worry too much about messing up, and my mind sort of goes blank. Still, I want to show my parents that I can stand on my own two feet. So I'll do my best. I have some things to do before the tour, so I'll be waiting in front of the Tayo Gate on Chinatown Way. All right, I'll see you later. Go.
Yeah. Go. Yeah.
へえすみませんでした。ありがとうございます。Joining us on our tour today. I'm sure there are a few times I made a mistake or two, and for that, I apologize. No, no, it was a lot of fun going around Chinatown like that. Thank you. That big bully guy was really scary, but you were so cool. You didn't flinch one bit. Oh no, I squeaked like a mouse. I was super scared. <laughs> You're funny, Miss. Oh, Miss. What was the name of that pig we saw at the end? The swine latong. It's a new specialty here in Chinatown. They say you'll be blessed with delicious food after rubbing its ear. That's right, swine latong. That thing's so cute. I want to get a phone strap or something. 
If you're looking for those, they sell them at the shop near the entrance, so by all means, please stop by. Thank you so much. Do you feel like you got any better at guiding people today, miss? Huh? Actually, you know what? I'm not nervous anymore. Hey, that's great. Uh, thank you, everyone. That's it for the tour. Yeah, thank you. Thanks bye bye. Time. Kasuka-san, thank you so much for today. You really know how to fight. Wow, that's pretty much all I'm good at. But forget me. Great job standing up to that gorilla, Ayami. I was really scared at first. But when I thought about protecting my customers, I didn't feel so afraid anymore. Right, dependable, cool, and most importantly, able to create the best memory for all the customers. That's why I came here. That's the kind of tour guide I want to be. That's really great. I'd say you were four for four on that, Ayami. The tour customers looked like they were having a lot of fun, and your dad and mom were both impressed too. You think so? Oh, I'm so glad. It's really all thanks to you, Kasuka-san. It's because you worked hard, Ayami. You've got some great parents. <laughs> well, I'm going out with them tonight, so I'll be sure to treat them well. Oh, right. I'd like you to have this, Kasuka-san. All right, then. I hope to see you again sometime. <sighs> okay. Time to head back. Um, excuse me. Huh? Sorry to bother you. I'm Ayami's mother. And I'm Ayami's father. Thank you so much for helping her today. No, I didn't do anything that special. Ayami worked hard because she knew you guys were coming. Well, that girl can be a little scatterbrained sometimes, but she does her best to be a good daughter. We were worried that all she might do was try to please us and that her performance would suffer because of it. That being said, we were very much relieved to see how well she did today. I never knew Hayami was so strong, nor that she could make others smile like that. My husband even cried he was so moved. Oh, come on. That's beside the point. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be an even better tour guide from now on. Every parent has to let their child fly solo at some point. And it helps that there's great guys like Kasuka-san out there, too. And just what is your relationship to our sweet Ayami, exactly? Hmm? Oh, please, dear. Oh, right, that was rude of me. Kasuga-kun, was it? We'd like you to have this. I hope you'll be there for Ayami if she ever needs you again. <sighs> Good to see a family that's looking out for each other like that. Keep up the good work, Ayami. Irashaimase. Arigato gozaimashita. Oh, 
いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございましたいらっしゃいませありがとうございました。Welcome. Thanks.
Welcome. Thanks. Welcome. Thanks. Good.
いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。Right? Pretty good. Almost there.
most. There. Nice. Nice. Looking good. Just finishing touch. Looking good. Just finishing touch.
Show me what you've got. Right. I got this. Watch me. I'm over here. You're weak. Cool. 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 Eyes on me. Yeah. You think you can win? Are you done with all the fucking games? No. No. I got the grip. You want to fight? Well, I'm over here. Let's go. Watch me. Let's go. You're in for it. Cool. Yeah, I 
のか Watch me. You're in it now. Take this. You're weak. Fine. Huh? You're I got this. Kind of hungry. Let's stop by a convenience store or something. Oh, I could go for some chips right about now. I too enjoy potato chips every so often. Yeah, I love the seaweed and salt flavor. Nah, a refined man goes just lightly salted, nothing more. You do yourself a disservice. The best flavor is consomme. <laughs> Looks like we're split. But what's your favorite flavor, Adachi san? Actually, my uh, stomach can't really handle chips these days, so as long as it's not too many, I'll take pretty much anything. I mean, I used to be able to down a whole bag like it was nothing. Sucks. Why don't we each just get our favorite? Indeed. We should enjoy them while we still can. Hey, don't get all mopey on me. I can still eat them. Just don't overdo it. I'll make you some steamed potatoes sometime.
Yo! <laughs> Perfect timing, Kasuga-san. There's something I must tell you. Huh? I believe I mentioned that a group was looking for me in and around Ijincho, and that the Komijo were looking into their motives and identities. Yeah, I remember you saying that. You learn anything new? Yes. It seems they've disappeared from Ijincho. They've avoided the Komijo's nets at every turn. Well, you sure as shit look calm. Or is that just me? <laughs> How very observant of you. So what's your take on all this? It's possible that the group in question has left the city. And I imagine it's because they found their target. Their target? What I mean is, I believe my enemies have already ascertained my location and are waiting for the opportune moment to strike. Huh. If that's the case, then they're quite skilled. They've managed to elude the Komijul's eyes this whole time. But that's bad news, right? Yes. And for you and everyone else around me, we could fall right into their hands at any moment. Okay, but that's only if we sit around and wait, right? What? <laughs> no point in being such a stranger. We'll lend you a hand. Let's find these creeps together. Hit them before they hit us. You feel me? The Komijul have been looking into their whereabouts. Even so, they've proven quite difficult to find. Finding them on our own won't be easy. So you really think they're Jingong Mafia remnants? You were saying something about that last time, right? That they might be after you because you're using your old boss's name? Yes. I have no reason to deny that given the circumstances. Then why not drop the Junki Han thing and go back to being Young Soo Kim? I'm guessing there's some reason you can't do that. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. No, there's nothing preventing me from doing so. I simply wish to continue being Junki Han. Even if it means being hunted down? I don't wish to get you or the others involved in the Jingon Mafia's troubles. But it appears to be too late, so I may be troubling you already. Everyone should be on their guard. My pursuers could attack at any time. <laughs> you forget who you're talking to or something? I'm sorry? We've tangled with both the Yijing Three and the Omi Alliance guys. We couldn't let our guards down even if we wanted to. Adding the Jingong Mafia to that list ain't gonna make us any less ready. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> it seems our little party is much tougher than I expected. Then, I'm amongst reliable friends. Maybe I am allowed to trouble you after all. <laughs> so what now? Do we toast to our new friendship yet? No. I won't be getting that close. It would be out of character for Jung Han. <laughs> Keep putting yourself on a pestle like that, and we'll start leaving you out. I was wondering if anyone would show up. I didn't expect it to be you. Aren't you busy? Should you really be drinking right now? <laughs> I'll drink whenever the hell I want to drink, Zhao. And don't forget, I was a regular at this place before you were. <laughs> oh, is that how you want to play it? Okay, well, if we're doing that, then who's the newcomer in Ijin Show, Kasuga? You or me? Uh, fair point. Man, <laughs> this whole schooling you as your senpai thing Sure is embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you win. <laughs> anyway, sit down, yeah? You know, when we're out drinking like this, it's hard to imagine you ever being the leader of a gang. Everyone's the same once you strip off the mask they put on for work. Rich, poor, leader, follower, whatever. You never know what people are really like.
Right. You can't judge someone just by looks alone. The important part is what's on the inside. You catch on fast, Kasuga-kun. Nah, I'm just stating the obvious, man. Gotta look at someone's character to see whether they'd be a good leader or not. All jokes aside, there's this whole idea of being next in line just because you're the boss's son. No logic in it, but it's always there. Yeah, can't choose who your parents are. But still, wasn't there some way you could have given up the throne? Not everybody's cut out to run a gang. Nothing wrong with that. And I'm sure somebody else would have stepped up if you had stepped down. Most important thing in any group is the leader being a good fit. I don't know if I was a good fit or not, but I was a pretty sharp kid back then. <laughs> if I put my mind to it, I could excel at pretty much anything. Sports, school, all that shit. And I don't remember losing any fights, either. I was a lot craftier than the other kids. Sounds like you were pretty talented. I just didn't give a flying fuck, that's all. Guess that's what happens when you're good at everything. Real modest, aren't you? Up until I swapped places with my old man, we were always fighting with our rivals in Chinatown. But after their boss, Lao Ka Long, bit the big one, the E Jean 3 got their stalemate going. Your rivals from Chinatown? Are you talking about the Snake Flower Triad? Or <laughs> they were pretty crazy. Ah, they pulled out of Japan a long time ago. There's not many of them left. Oh, so you became the leader of the Yokohama Lumong after the Snake Flower Triad was out of the picture? Just about. Had to have been almost ten years ago. Honestly, the whole thing was a pain in the ass. Hmm. Ogi Kubo let me in on the whole counterfeit bills thing right away. Also told me about how the stalemate Tenny Jean Show was rigged from the start. Man, still can't hardly believe that. The only people in the Liumong that knew about that were my dad and the old guard. The new boys kept saying they wanted to move in and take over, but it was always up to me to keep them on their leashes. Hmm. <sighs> then, it was no ambition this, and a weak-ass bitch that. Sounds like a fun job, eh? <laughs> Haven't seen this side of you before, Zhao. You're really starting to open up and let loose. How many have you had? Uh, it's not like I gotta worry about the gang anymore. So I'll get as drunk as I damn well please. Is that a problem? Hell no, it's not. I was just saying, it's been fun. Fun, huh? Well, maybe I have shown too much of my hand. If I was still the boss, my bodyguards would have stopped me by now. Oh, really? I hope I didn't kill your buzz. Nah. I know you're the kind of guy that just says whatever pops into his head. <sighs> I'm gonna go sober up. Yeah, sure. Let's get another drink when you're up for it. <laughs> Sounds good. Same goes for you, alright? <laughs> yeah, looking forward to it.
Hey, Chief. Um, I was thinking, maybe we could go grab a drink like last time? You want a drink? Oh, should I not have asked? No, you're good. Just didn't expect that. Uh, but yeah, let's drink for sure. Awesome. How does going to survive again sound? Sounds good to me. Okay, I'll meet you there. Let's get down to business. Got a job to do. Oh, Got a job to do. Nice. You got the great out there. We got a job to do. Okay, we got to do. We got to do. The shareholders meeting is coming up soon. We got a job to do.
The shareholders meeting is about to begin. Ah, this company is only getting better. ガレが元気が出ました。元気使いが取れたぜ。ガレが元気が出ました。元気使いが取れた。元気使いが取れた。元気使いが取れたぜ。元気使いが取れたぜ。元気使いが取れたぜ。元気100倍だ。元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気元気
got a job to do. The shareholders meeting is coming up soon. We got a job to do. Consider the shareholders handled. We'll start with the financial. We'll kick things off with the financial Thank report. You. Let's move on to the Q&A. If you have any questions... Please raise your hand if you have a question. うまくいっていますな。ま、this is the time to ask.
got a job to do. We got a job to do. We got a job to do. The shareholders meeting is coming up soon. Ah, goodbye, stress. Refresh, Kanjo. We got a job to do. The shareholders meeting is about to begin. This company is only getting better. Scare Refreshing. 
consider the shareholders handled. We'll start with the financial report. President Kasuga, if... We'll kick things off with the financial report. Thank you. Let's move on to the q and Do you have any... <laughs> Please if you have any questions, this is the time to ask. If you have any questions... Please raise your hand if you have a question. Well, the meeting was great! いらっしゃいませ。
ありがとうございましたいらっしゃいませありがとうございました。
looking good. Just touch. Almost there. Just a finishing touch. Nice, nice, nice. Just a finishing touch. Good.
Watch me. I'm over here. Take this. Bring it on. Fight. I got this. You're weak. Fight! 
Watch me.
battle is on! Well, I got this. You wanna you fight? Stand this? Take this. Are you done with all the fun and games yet? Yeah. Yeah. On it. Weak. ありがとうございました。
Who's hungry? Me. Me. Oh. Mm, sure does. Can't remember the last time I had Matsutake mushrooms. Speaking of which, back when I was homeless, I saw a mushroom that looked like a Matsutake. So I grilled it up and ate it. Really? How'd that go for you? I felt like I was floating up into the night sky and merging with the cosmos. <laughs> you were foraging for mushrooms at night? Nah, it was midday, man. Just made me really see the infinite expanse of the universe. Jeez, you were tripping hard, man. You're lucky to be alive. Well, yeah, but wouldn't it be cool if eating these mushrooms took us back to the depths of the galaxy? No. No, it wouldn't. すみません。すみませんでした。うん。いえ。いえ。Mao-san, uh, we didn't have to meet up near the restaurant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're always working so hard. And besides, I wanted to see you as soon as I could. Mao-san, I'm so sorry about last time. I really messed up that rice. Oh, that's all right. It was good for what it was. It was like a dessert. Very innovative. Now, why don't we go to the movies? Oh no, where did I put those tickets? Don't tell me I dropped them. Ah, oh, crap. I'm so sorry. It's all right. We can buy them at the counter. You gave me this lovely little thing, so tonight's on me. You're actually wearing it! Thank you. A ring this cute for a woman in her 40s? <laughs> Does it really suit me? More than anyone else in the world. Honestly, I, I wanted to get you something more expensive. The thought's what matters. But are you sure? I, I'm an old lady, you know. Mouse-san, you're no old lady. Truly, I'm serious when I say I want to marry you. Oh, Yuta-kun. Thank you. Huh? 
Whoa! Hey, you're that guy's old man, right? My Utah. Getting married? Impossible. Not my Utah. Yo, snap out of it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to trouble you. The name's Tokuro Tanaka. I own a Chinese restaurant here in town. Ichiban Kasuga. No worries. I wasn't gonna just leave you passed out like that. That Yuta. So much to learn, and he's out wasting his time with a woman. Come on. He's bound to start seeing people at that age. Why not support him? No. He needs to hone his skills as a chef so he can take up the restaurant. There's no time for him to get caught up in love and whatnot. What's more, she's 40! Damn near old enough to be his mother. Yeah, but age shouldn't really matter, right? Oh, like hell it shouldn't. I don't want him to suffer like I did. I take it there's a story here? Truth be told, my wife was older than me. She passed away when he was little. It's tough being left behind. I don't want him to have to experience the same thing. I get how you feel, but you never really know when someone's gonna die, you know? If they really love each other, isn't that enough? Yeah, well... I hear she's been divorced once already. Her life's totally different from Yuta's. There's no way an amateur like him could match up with her. For all we know, she's playing him for a fool. You're thinking about this way too hard. Kasuga-san, forgive me for roping you into this, but do you think you could find out more for me? Huh? Me? He's your son, isn't he? Yeah, well, he might not feel like answering me. And I don't see myself handling it too politely, either. Please, there's nobody else that I can ask about something this embarrassing. I'll even reward you for your trouble. All right, fine. Can't say I'm not curious myself. Oh, I appreciate it. Think you could talk to him next time he's at the restaurant? Yeah, sure. I'll ask him when I'm nearby. Who's hungry? Me. Mm. This is by far the best Chinese food I've had. That's a big statement. That sweet and sour pork treating you good? Yes. The pineapples are slightly tart, but the savory pork balances it out. Yep, that's how it's supposed to be. Without those pineapples, the flavor wouldn't be complex. I do know some people hate pineapples, though. I'm guessing this is your first time having this. Yes. I can't say I've tried much Chinese food up until this point. But my time with you has given me a new outlook on dining, and cuisine in general. Nice. Actually, I don't remember you eating during those Yijing 3 meetings. You would just stand near Songhui. Dang, they really made you wait the whole time? That sucks. <laughs> I was merely doing my duty as a bodyguard. Well... I did have to resist the temptation to grab a bite when no one was looking. Sometimes it took every ounce of willpower I had to keep a straight face. What the heck? You should have spoken up, man. I would have given you my pineapples. So you were the pineapple hater all along.
ありがとうございましたありがとうなのじゃ。Yeah. Yeah.
らっしゃいませ。Who's hungry? Me. Thank you. Very high Hey, I see someone's in a good mood. <laughs> of course. I've wanted to have a surprise party ever since I was a little kid. Right. Well, how's it coming along? The party plans, I mean. Oh, uh, great. Well, don't overthink it. I'm just grateful for the effort. No way. I I'm using practically all the brain power I have on this. Naba, can I borrow Kasuga for a moment? Why? What's going on? It's about your birthday. Wouldn't want to ruin the surprise, now would we? No, we sure wouldn't. <laughs> Go do your thing, Ichiban. Shall we, Kasuga? Sure. So I spoke on the phone with the mama who runs the bar. What bar? The one Futaba works at. Apparently, she was caught stealing. She's stealing? I know. What's more, Futaba is apparently quite a playgirl. I hear her latest boyfriend has her hooked on Pachinko. Jeez. Anyway, the mama started crying and asked me to get back her money. Futaba should be over at Pirates, one of the local Pachinko parlors. So she's gambling with stolen money? What a catch. Yeah, listen. Would you mind taking care of this? I think it'll be a good chance to get more details about Mizue chan Good idea. I can get the money and the info out of Futaba in one fell swoop. Excellent. Babe. You hungry for sushi or yakiniku? <laughs> Shit, why not both? You hit the freaking jackpot just now. <laughs> Baby, I am the jackpot. Hold up. Shouldn't you be giving that money back to your boss? <sighs> this loser again. What do you even want from me? A couple things. First, you need to give back the money you stole from your job. And second, I need info on Mizue-chan, the nurse you used to work with. Dreams of going overseas, helping people in need, any of that ring a bell? Anyway, I know she plans on leaving the country as part of a hospital program. I need to find out when. Yeah, well, what does she matter to you? Remember that guy Namba? The one who got busted selling meds? Turns out he didn't do a goddamn thing. It was actually all Mizue-chan. 
Granted, she only resorted to theft to pay off her parents' debt. But it was Namba who took the fall, admitting to the crimes himself. You know, I think he really had a thing for the chick, to be honest with you. Bottom line is, I want to help Namba see Mizue-chan off. And you're my ticket. You think this is funny? <laughs> As if Mizue would ever do something so honest. What do you mean? She said she was inspired by Florence Nightingale. Yeah? Then tell me, why'd she end up working at a bar in the shittiest part of Eugene show? Since when does she work at a bar? Ever since she realized her pay was so pathetic that she had to resort to stealing? That sound like a noble nurse to you? Wait, are you trying to tell me? That's right, dumbass. I'm Mizue. Utaba's just a hostess name. You're Mizue? You're nothing like Namba said. Oh, sure. The creep who could never keep his eyes off me. Just the thought of him makes me want to throw up. Though he did turn out to be a good patsy. Didn't see that one coming. Guess my little damsel in distress story won him over. Cute dumb boys are always looking for a chance to play hero. What about your parents' big debt? Are you dense? I wanted some money to hit the pachinko slots with, and that's what I got. So, all that shit about going overseas, following in the footsteps of Nightingale? I can play such a convincing little angel. All that time I spent in my high school drama club literally paid off. And you're just fine letting Namba's sacrifice go to waste? Even if he hadn't intervened, I would have just kept on doing it. Not like it mattered. I knew I'd get busted eventually. Then I just drifted like a flower from city to city, man to man. Heartbreaking, isn't it? Yeah, I'm real torn up. You did my friend dirty there, lady. If he ever finds out he helped the fucking wicked witch, he'd die inside. Son of a bitch. You call him my girl names. I get it, but I'll fuck you up. Kick his ass! Room. He's certainly welcome to try. Heck, I'll call the ambulance myself. <laughs> oh yeah? I don't know, man. I'm feeling lucky today. In fact, I'm on a winning streak. Yo, help me kill this scruffy piece of shit. Hell yeah! I'm in it up. Scared? Let's get it done! Chico. Babe, wait! Atsushi chan! Stop right there. You need to return what you stole. Barkeep! I figured out Futaba's real name. She can thank her boss for that. I, I can't believe Namba gave up his entire career. And for what? Perhaps he's better off not knowing the truth. 
Yeah, but isn't it wrong to hide this kind of stuff? Especially from a guy who's had my back. And you'd repay him by pushing him over the edge? Uh... Look. It's not my place to tell you what to do anyway. This is between you and Namba. You two are close. I know you'll do what's best. But how will I know what's best? Hey, uh, we're done here, right? I think I'll just leave the money here and go. Not so fast. <sighs> what now? You said you were in drama club, right? Yeah, so what? You owe me a favor. And don't try to weasel your way out. Uh... Okay. Sup, fellas? Hey, Chiban. Where have you been? All over. Prepping for your big birthday blowout. Damn, man. You're gonna drive me crazy with all this birthday talk. You sure you can't give me a hint? Nope. Not gonna spoil the surprise. Actually, there is one thing I've gotta ask. Yeah, what is it? When is your birthday, anyway? Dude, well, how can you plan a party if you don't even know the freaking date? Come on, I'm just double-checking! Get the facts straight! Excuse me, is there a Nanba son here? Mizue chan is that you? Nanba san Oh, it's been so long! Well, yeah, but what are you doing here? And that bag, does that mean? That's right. I'm transferring overseas like I've always dreamed. I fly out today. Wow. So that dream is about to come true. Good for you, Mizui chan Before that, I need to apologize. I let you take the fall from me without a second thought. Duh, don't mention it. I was a piss poor nurse anyway. I'm happy it was you who stayed. But you sacrificed everything for me! That uh, was worth it. As long as you're happy, I don't have any regrets. If you're gonna be like Nightingale, you got some big shoes to fill, right? <laughs> I'll be rooting for you from here. <sighs> Thank you. That means a lot. <sighs> I hate to cut this short, but I need to catch my plane. No problem. And take care of yourself. So long, Miss Wichon. I'm happy for you, bro. You know what? So am I. Isn't that cool, though? She came out of her way just to see you. Huh? She didn't do much. You, on the other hand, that was cool. Huh? What's that even mean? What happened just now? I know that was all you're doing. Wait, then what else do you know about Mizue-chan? Well, I overheard the bartender talking on the phone. So, I pretty much know everything. Then why'd you play dumb? I don't know. Maybe it just feels good when people are being nice to me. Well, fuck me. I really thought I pulled that one off. <laughs> Friendship, you get what you give. And that includes trying to trick people. I'm sorry, man. I didn't want to trick you, but I didn't want to want you get hurt either. No need to apologize. It's on me to accept that Mizue chan wasn't who I thought she was. I'm just glad I have a friend like you around, Ichiban. Namba. Ah, forget it. As I recall, we were gonna have a drink. Yeah, you're damn right.
Hey, Chief. Hey, yourself. Uh, you wait longer. Not at all. I'm glad you made it out. You know, I've been thinking about how lucky I am to have you around. Our company would be nowhere without you. Oh, come on. We both put in work, and look where that got us. We made money, shared memories. I'm the one who's lucky. I mean, I was broke on the street not that long ago. Even so. Hey, let me ask you. Where do we go from here? Huh? You mean, like, what's our relationship? You... you, you can't be thinking marriage. Are you? What? Come on. I'm talking about our company here. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. right, right. The, the company. Ichiban Holdings. Of course. Do you have a vision for it, Eri-chan? Oh, 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 now you want to talk about the future. Hey. But in all honesty, my vision so far, it's been to keep my dad's company afloat. I hadn't thought much further than that. As long as the business is operating, that's good enough. Or so I thought. Now I know there's more to it. If I want us to grow as a business, we have to do more than keep the status quo. We need to be ambitious in order to survive. Which is why I came up with a new goal for us. Yeah? What's that? To make Ichiban Holdings the best in the country, and maybe even the world, at bringing people joy. That does sound ambitious. Now, of course, I have to prioritize things like sales and profit. That's a given. But what good is a wealthy company without happy employees or satisfied customers? They're the backbone of our business. Eventually, we'll scale and expand our operation. But we build it on trust and goodwill. Those things always come first. Hey, I like it. That's an airy chan goal if I ever heard one. Well, forgive me if it's too idealistic. I'm sure that's exactly what Hosho picked up on when he met me. Don't say that. Your ideas are really good. And you've grown so much since then. <laughs> I'm happy you think so, Kasuga-san. Now, airy chan I still plan on hustling like my life depends on it, for you and your company. What I want from you is to hold me up when I falter, to always be there by my side. Huh? Was that too much? <gasps> Kasuga-san! <gasps> Eri-chan. Oh gosh! I don't think I can handle this! <sighs> Perry John. You awake? Kasuga-san. Did I just pass out? Yeah. You scared the crap out of me. So, I brought you here to rest. Is that what happened? I'm so sorry. I can't believe I did that. Hey, you don't gotta apologize. You are okay, right? Mm. My head's still spinning. I think I just got a little overwhelmed. You were overwhelmed? By what? Was it something I said? It wasn't exactly what you said, but the intention behind it. I'm not sure I get it, but won't you feel better if you take a load off and rest? That might help. Yeah, maybe so. I'll take you up on that. Good. Get some sleep, Eri-chan. I will. Good night, Kasuga-san. <sighs> that was a good nap. Huh? Did you fall asleep too? <laughs> I guess even you get exhausted. <laughs> you said you wanted me right there by your side. Someday, you'll be saying that as my man. 
And not just my business partner. <laughs> I hope. Eri uh, uh, John? Kazuga-san. Eri <gasps> John! What's wrong? Huh? Harry Chan? What about that kiss? Was it all a dream? I'm not sure what you mean, Chief. Could it be you were sleeping too long? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Forget it. Pretty sure that was a dream. Yep. What were you dreaming about, if I may ask? Oh, uh, it was. Something really nice. I see. Well, I'm happy for you. Ready to go downstairs now? Yeah. Back to reality, I guess. <sighs> I knew you two had to wake up sometime. Yeah, yeah. Sorry for knocking out up there. But man, I really needed that. I'm sure you did. You two enjoy your private time? Huh? Anyway, I suggest you go wash up. Oh, right. You know, miss, you're craftier than I gave you credit for. Huh? That's not what I was... Look, can you keep this a secret? Of course. My business also runs on joy. Be it at the end of a glass or a good conversation. <sighs> Thank you. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Oh, just our vision, right? <laughs> right. What, are your eyes bad? <laughs> not that kind of vision. <laughs> <laughs> you guys like that? I'll give you an A for effort.